Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha Car Fix with another video. Today we're going to see how to create this kind of corporate professional YouTube banner in Photoshop. I'm going to show all of the process step by step so that you can follow and create your own version. So if you're interested to learn how to create professional YouTube banners, watch the video until the end. And before jumping to the main video, I would like to share that I'm offering my service on Fiverr. If you need any kind of YouTube banner, YouTube thumbnails for or Photoshop work, just let me know in the Fiverr. I'll be there to helping you. Check the link in the description and check out my favorite profile. Now we are here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have already created the free document for my YouTube banner. And so if you want to download that, just it's a free. You can download it from the link in the description. Now first I have already downloaded some of the images that I need to create that YouTube banner. We're going to start by creating the background of that design. Next I'm going to apply some of the shadow in the bottom area. Then I'm going to use the shape tool and create some of the shapes in the design. And after that, I'm going to use that analytical graph for the background. So just use that and adjust the size according to your need. And then I'm going to select all the graph layer and convert it to smart object. And I'm going to apply Gaussian blur to make that kind of fadiness on the design. And next step, we're going to add our model image into our design. For that, we're going to use the selection mask to remove our background. Now you can see we just removed the background but there, can, there is some area it just removed, didn't remove so we're going to adjust that and also remove that again and then we're going to come up with the main composition. Now in this design I don't like the t-shirt of that model so I need to change the color of the t-shirt. So I'm going to take some time and change the color of the t-shirt and try different color that I don't know which is going to be worn best but in this case let's see which is the perfect for my design. Now I think this is perfectly okay and this color of the t-shirt is just matching with my design so I'm happy with that. Next we're going to do the other steps to create the YouTube banner. Now this is perfectly okay for my design and I just adjust the color of the model. So next we're going to add our other element into our design. Now we're going to write our brand name into the design and just in this case I'm taking a random name. You can choose your own brand or your own channel name into the design. Adjust the size of the text and fit it perfectly with the design. Now we need to create some of the contrast between the background and the foreground. So that's why I'm going to use a solid color and also a darker tone of the background. So you can do and see how can you make the differentiate or the separation of the background and the foreground of the design. And next we're going to try different color for the text in this case I'm going to use yellow and let me see I'm just doing some experiment on the design so just do a random experiment and see which is perfect for your design.
now after adding the channel name or your brand name into the design next we're going to add our elements in the design we're going to use our social media and the tagline so just follow my steps and adjust and apply all of the things into your design and make it perfectly After adding all the elements, next step we are going to again do some of the color separation from the background and the foreground. So that's why I am going to create a blank layer and then I am going to apply some color, darker tone color using the brush tool and the back of the text. Next we are going to change the blending mode into soft light or overlay and see which make the best contrast and background separation from our text and also the background. After that we are going to add our side information in the left area, adjust the size and also the weight of the text and see which is perfect for you. And I think this is perfectly okay. Now we're going to add our background element and make the design more dynamic looking and also uh, attractive. So you can follow my steps and add all of the elements. And if you want to download all the elements that I use into the design, just check the link in the description. And also, again, I would like to say that if you want to use my service from Fiverr, you can just order me on Fiverr and I'm going to create a perfect YouTube banner for you. So just go and check out my Fiverr profile. And for the final, add all the elements into our design and make the design more dynamic and good looking. And also at last we need to add our subscribe button into the right area so just use a shape and text and create that subscribe button over there. And now you can see we just complete our design. For the final, we're going to do some of the uh, design experiment and adjustment to make the design more good looking. So you can just follow my steps and do like that.
now you can see we just already created our design a more good looking and this is perfectly okay but if you want to create that glowing effect you can do that into the model area easily by following my steps but in my preference i think we're going to add our glowing effect so you can just do some of the other experiments and tr try to add more elements into your design and see which is good in this case you can do all of the experiment and see the final result Now creating YouTube banner is a fun and I just show all of the experiment things that what I do when it comes to creating YouTube banner. So I hope that you like this video and if you like this video hit that like button and also if you need YouTube banner design from me you can just go and check out my favorite profile I will be there for you to help to create YouTube banner. So that's it for today see you in my next video till then bye bye and the most important things as I always say keep learning.